Khartoum residents have described fierce battles with fighters roving the street of Sudan, a situation in the country that remains without any substantial improvement. A sound of explosion and gunfire could still be heard in Khartoum on Friday. Despite the agreement signed in the Saudi port city of Jeddah by the representatives from the two warring parties, the Sudanese armed forces and the paramilitary support forces are accusing each other of violations against civilians. According to a Khartoum-based journalist, even though an agreement on prioritizing the interest of the Sudanese people was reached, the much-needed humanitarian aid and medical supplies were still unable to reach hospitals and civilians. Al Jeddah declaration have stated and committed that they will protect uh, medical uh, groups here in Khartoum. They have also said that uh, they, uh, they will adopt a rabbit and also uh, simple uh, procedures in order to deliver uh, the humanitarian assistance to those who are in need here in Khartoum. But until now, the two warring parties haven't announced a mechanism to deliver these, uh, these, uh, these shipments to those who are in need here in Khartoum. Sudan and, uh... For his part, Al-Harit Idris Al-Harit Mohamed, Sudan's ambassador, said that the humanitarian situation in Sudan has worsened and that the government is using tremendous efforts to contain the impact on the situation in various aspects. The already dire humanitarian situation has deteriorated and is getting worse. However, the government is ex exerting tremendous efforts to contain the impact of the situation in various aspects and was able to control and reduce the intensity of the devastation. To date, no state of emergency has been declared, nor communicating or communication network is disrupted. According to the latest data from the United Nations, the current clashes have deprived the lives of at least 750 people and displaced tens of thousands of residents since the start of the conflict. In addition, a series of fragile ceasefires over the past weeks have failed to stop the fighting.